guys, it's your boy Willie Brap, and this is kind of going to be a, a sad video for me to make because I, I mean, I haven't made a video in two weeks, and there's a pretty simple reason for that, and that's I really fucking hurt myself on my bike. Now, before you get a, before you get worried about what happened, it was a stupid accident. I released my crash video on the trails, and that was actually when it happened. Uh, during one of my falls, and I'll put a clip up in the video, I land fully on my left hand. And for the, about a month afterwards, I thought it was just sprained. So I got a brace, did everything I could. And it didn't get better, it got worse actually. So I went to the doctor, did x-rays, MRIs, and it turned out I actually um, really fucked up two of my ligaments. I partially tore them, uh, and I'm still in a, a little brace, but, so that's why I haven't been making videos. I've just been recovering from surgery, which I had about a week ago, and today is actually my last day here in beautiful Texas, uh, before I leave to go up to Ohio. So I'll make a video once I get up to Ohio, show you around, show you the new place, but I am bringing the bike with me. So we're gonna have more videos about that. Uh, different change of scenery, different videos, it's a small college town. So video style is gonna be changing a little bit, but I think it's actually gonna be better. And there's a motorsports club up there, which I'm hoping to do a lot of videos and whatnot with. But this video is just kind of saying, sorry, I know I haven't made videos. It's because I fucked up and stupid freak accident. Um, I mean, I was going, I think in the video, I was going like five miles per hour when I fell each time. And it just shows you that even if you do wear the right protective gear, lit, falling down, it, it's a reaction to put out your hands, but it will mess up your wrists so fast and so badly, guys. Um, it, it's not something I could have fixed. I was just a noob. And I'm definitely going to change out these shitty tires because I believe they're one of the causes of it, just losing grip. Uh, obviously, rider skill is going to be another part of that. So, recovery for me um, is 12 weeks in total from day of surgery, so I have about 11 more weeks of recovery till I can do everything full again, um, which sucks because I haven't talked about this yet, but I'm actually on the rowing team at my college. So, this season or semester, um, I'm not going to be able to partake in that. I'm just going to be on recovery and then conditioning for next spring season, which is going to suck because I really wanted to show you guys that. And um, I can put my GoPro on the boat and they have mounts and it's really freaking cool. So that's going to suck, honestly. I was really looking forward to that. And that's kind of gone for this semester, but whatever, I'll get better. Um, so the actual surgery itself was fairly uh, non-invasive. I have, um, they put stitches in one of the ligaments to fix it, and the other one you don't really need. I forget what the actual tendons and ligaments and all that are called, but I'll put some pictures uh, at the end of the video for you guys to, <laughs> to see the damage. But, so they stitched one, sh uh, shaved down another one that you don't really need that was still more or less connected. It was just a little part that was torn. And then the stitched one, I have about a two centimeter incision, about one inch. Uh, and then they, I also had like two holes where they used the contraption to get in there and actually do everything and look around. So, sucks, whatever. Uh, I'll continue making videos. It's just been hard this past two weeks to get anything done, um, being in recovery and then just being stressed the fuck out. And it sucks. It's part of riding though. You fall and you crash and you break shit. <laughs> um, so, but I'm definitely going to keep up the videos. I'm not dead. The channel is still alive. It's not dropping off the earth. I love doing this. I'm going to continue to do it, especially with this move and bringing the bike with me. Um, I really, really love doing this. And I can't wait to get up to Ohio and show you the small college towns and whatnot. Uh, I don't think I'm going to have to wait 11 weeks. Uh, to the end of my recovery to start riding. I think realistically I can probably start doing light riding here in eight, but we'll see. It just depends on doctor and being safe because the last thing I want to do is 
ride early and crash again and fuck it up and have to get it restitched or redone because that would just be terrible. So that is the update. Um, now, if you are squirmy and don't like kind of blood and looking at someone's ligaments, click off now. But if you do continue, I'm going to put some photos up of the surgery and the damage done to the wrist. Um, so there's your fair warning. If you guys are squirmy, tune off now. Uh, but if not, thanks for watching and check out these awesome pics. And it's your boy, Willie Brapp, and I will see you guys once I get to Ohio.